too much like was not a bad thing. I guess I've had a productive day. Four videos in a day. You see me wearing the same clothes and I got my guest once again. Yeah. What's your name? Tell them maybe today is the first time of watching you. The person has not watched the previous videos. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Christine and from what's... Be Until Lifeline, a YouTube channel. You can check it out. I shall link the, the, the channel down below. Maybe you can check it out. Make sure you go and subscribe to Christine's channel. You're gonna love it. You know, I love women. They, they always say it. So I always love subscribing to channels that is owned by women. Okay, that was just by the way. But anyway, yeah. I don't want to live here without educating people. All yeah, right. Sure. When I came to Uganda, I never knew this. But I came here, I discovered, and so I learned. So many things. Exactly. So I want us to educate people out there who have never been to Uganda. Yeah. These are the things that I think they have to know. Of course, they Do you should. think people have to know about this? Of course, they really have to know so many stuff here that we have. Very many different things that you never know about Uganda. Exactly. And I'm right here to show you and even tell you what you've been missing. Exactly. So You know, this is where we're going to start. Number one, yeah. what are they supposed to know? Number one is what? Number one, Uganda is the pearl of Africa. Uganda is the pearl of Africa. Yes. You saw my video, the girl was like... Welcome to the pearl of Africa, the land built in seven hills. This is where the Nile starts from. Africa. Africa. <laughs> so we want to know why Uganda is the pearl of Africa? Well, Uganda is the pearl of Africa because it is a beautiful country. Wow. With beautiful natural resources. Wow. We have beautiful lakes, rivers. The source of the Nile is just from Uganda. That is in Jinja. I think I saw a video of you I was in there. Jinja. I was yes. There. Yes, we have Lake Victoria, Lake Bunyoni. Wow. Those are all beautiful lakes that you can really check out when you come to Uganda. Uganda. Yes, we have so many tribes here in Uganda, different cultures, okay. different tribes, tribes, food. How many tribes do you have in Uganda? Well, in Uganda we have over 56 tribes. And I guess you know how many languages do you guys speak in Uganda? In, in Uganda? How many languages? 56. 56? Yes, each tribe. One? Luganda. Luganda. Yes. I need to learn how to speak Luganda. How to say you are beautiful in Luganda. Olimulonji. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. So number two is what? Number two, the number two point that you should know about Uganda is, is the OTT tax. What is that? That is social media tax. It was introduced by the government. For you to access internet in Uganda, you need to pay OTT tax. Yes. For me to use Facebook, YouTube, of Instagram, course. Snapchat, <laughs> all that, you need to pay OTT tax. That is why. You can do that from the airport wherever you go, you need to pay OTT tax. Wh it when has... I came to Uganda, I had mm. to pay a thousand mm -hmm. just buying a SIM card. They said extra thousand yes. buying a SIM For card. SIM card, yes, then with the OTT. If you want to activate your card, you need to get a card, then also buy OTT tax. Because of course you can't live without internet. You need to access your people, maybe back at home. I guess so many people are not aware of this. So yeah. whenever you come into Uganda, make sure you pay that tax before you, you go to prison, bro. Number three, I don't want to see you in prison. Number, <laughs> no, no, number three, I yeah. heard, this one I'm, I'm going to say. Yes. Number three, I heard Ugandans eat grasshoppers yes of course it's just a delicacy jesus christ grasshoppers is a delicacy in uganda do you, you like it yes i love grasshoppers you know you like it you love it i love it really i love it <laughs> i guess that's your favorite of course is it what was the name mata, mata what Matoke. Matoke. Yes. I always say matatu instead of matoke. I, I love matatu more than matoke. <laughs> oh, I, don't on. Know. Come on. I don't know so matoke or grasshoppers both. No way! You can't even choose both. one! <laughs> both. Because I love them both, I can't really choose. So I can't. In, if you know you're coming to Uganda and you want to try, uh, how do you call it, grasshoppers, my brother, Uganda is the best place to try it yeah. out. But I'm not going to try it because I'm not a fan you of... You need to try no, this no, no, out. No, 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 I'm going to Before you go, you're I don't going to try this. I already have raw meat in me. I don't want to try anything new again. I'm sorry, Uganda. I'll Please just give me. you one. One. And you'll accept, right? This is grasshopper. It's okay. <laughs> I just Stop tried it out. 
bad. Okay. So no, number four. Uh -huh. All right. Number four. What is it? Number four. What number is the four. Yeah. Maybe we can talk about the Miss Kavi contest. Miss Kavi contest here in Uganda. Yeah. What is it about? Miss Kavi contest is just a tourism. Tourism, maybe platform. Is it something to attract people to come to Uganda? What people didn't know about Uganda that women here are very endowed. They are very curvy. They are very beautiful. So when you come to Uganda and you're looking for a wife, yeah. so which means they use. <laughs> you will always get that Miss Curvy they use everywhere. Women of course, not everyone. Not everyone, but majority of the people. But majority of the ladies. It's tourism. Yes, so which tourism. Which isn't curvy women to no. attract? Is it, is it just Miss Kevy means somebody who is curvy? Miss Kevy has the positive and the negative bit about it. What is the positive aspect the of Miss Kevy? The positive bit about it is that it shows who we are. The women in Uganda, the beautiful women we have in Uganda. Okay. How are they created? Okay. We have so many tribes in Uganda, but we are, the, we are just one people, what? one person. What? And we have the, the beauty, care. the calves, the bats the hips, everything like that. But I think it's just an amazing thing. But for people, even, if you want to I, check I, out I, anything like I, that, you can I, I, come I, I, here. I would love for them to see whether you really have the calves or something. If, no, 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 no. But, no. but, but they, 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 they're going to they're gonna say that I'm, I'm, I'm socializing women. No, come on. <laughs> Number five, this is what I heard in Uganda. Yes, please. The short call. Is it a short call? Yes, Make it's a, a short, short call. call. It's a short call. What does that mean? If you want to ease yourself, the most polite way you can do is to just tell someone I need to just make a short call. So it's just a polite way. Just Ugandans are call. very, very polite people wow. that they don't want to so just speak some. Yourself, yeah, easing yourself. Just a short call. Just a short call. You know, Christine, I've been eating a lot today. <laughs> like I've been eating my toke. I've been eating hard. Luombo. Luombo. And definitely I've tried grasshopper. <laughs> I think I need to go for a short call. I'm sorry. I need to go for a short call. I am Maya. So this is a short call. And uh, I hope you, you learned something new. Forgive me about my short call, but I'm still gonna get back to you very soon. All you need to do is don't forget to like this video. Go to Christine's channel. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is how it is. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I'm gonna see you in Tanzania. Peace out. Yeah!